Hi there, and today we're talking about geothermal energy, super volcanoes, and we've got a big one um, on planet Earth uh, in America and the Yellowstone National Park in USA. The Yellowstone hot spot, it's huge. And um, geothermal energy, the place of it as a green energy, and um, how it can save the world in terms of energy needs and a whole range of other things. Um, so we'll talk about Yellowstone, um, but first um, I'll talk about the other big hotspot um, globally, and that is Campi Flagri, um, and that is in Italy, off the coast of Naples. Um, it's part of the system that fueled Vesuvius, that um, went off and killed Pliny the Elder, I think, in 79. AD, if memory serves, um, but it's gigantic, um, Campi Flagri, and it goes out to sea. Um, in the last 50 odd years, it's raised the sea level by eight feet, um, so it's getting active again. And the point is that those things can really spoil your day, and nationally and internationally. So. Um, for those people who say, oh, well, I'm not worried about it, well, you have to be. Uh, for those people who say, well, there's nothing you can do about it, is yes, you can, and you have to. Uh, because we can't afford for the thing to go off, and we can't really afford to get our energy in the quantities we want it moving forward for AI and whatever else uh, for several hundred years from any other source rather than... Um, geothermal, which has an almost limitless amount of energy um, in it. Solar's good, wind's good, um, but only helium-3 from the solar winds, where there's vast deposits on the moon, can give us, through fusion, the amount of energy we need, and that jury's still out on fusion, um, but you know we would need helium-3 to do it. Um, but aside from that, we have these giant super volcanoes that if they go off um, they would kill hundreds of millions um, and set humanity back um, and we can't afford a energy explosion or energy distribution that is um, causing of such a loss of life instead of using it as a power source so what do you do? Well, it's actually reasonably simple. You drill holes into the ground, thousands of them, geothermal wells, and you suck one-tenth of one percent out of these super volcanoes over multiple years. They're so huge, you can't even suck one percent of the energy out of them, but you take enough out of them to get the energy you need and for electricity, and um, it reduces the likelihood that they go off. Okay, you'll never reduce that likelihood altogether. But Campi Flagri off the coast of Naples in Italy and the Yellowstone hotspot in the Yellowstone National Park. These super volcanoes are so big that their energy uh, balance, mass balance, is, is so large that um, we can either get electricity from them and prosper or we can wait for them to go off, as they undoubtedly will and as they have in the past. Um, and they'll kill lots of people. And the only, um, the only saving grace, and it's not saving at all, it's just timing grace, is we don't know when it's going to go off. Okay, but that's no reason not to do anything about it. So if we want abundant energy in the future, that's great. Geothermal energy, it's right there. Um, it can give us basically as much as we want. And aside from that, uh, if we don't um, deal with it and um, sit down these geothermal wells and basically brace these super volcanoes, um, then ultimately they will go off um, and inflict massive damage, not just on the local or regional surrounds, but nationally and internationally, globally as well. And um, that's not a viable future for humanity. So, geothermal can actually help us and we must have it help us, or it could destroy us. Anyway, tell me what you think. Andrew at keops.au. 
Thanks.